Welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow marks seven years since the devastating school shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. Right, and Jenny Hubbard lost her beautiful daughter, Catherine Violet Hubbard. Catherine loved animals, and today her mom is leading the charge to build an animal sanctuary in Newtown, and she needs your help. Take a look. It's a place that honors Catherine, but more importantly, honors her love of animals. The minute that she started walking this earth or crawling, she just, she would be nose to nose with our dog. She just was infatuated with him. Jennifer Hubbard has used her grief over losing her beautiful six-year-old daughter, Catherine, in the Sandy Hook school shooting to create something good, a little bit of heaven on earth for animals. It was Catherine's dream, she tells me. She made business cards uh, when she was in kindergarten and she created Catherine's Animal Shelter. She recalls her older brother, Freddie, asked her, what do you want people to call you? And Catherine chose the title of caretaker. The sanctuary honors the human animal bond. It's a traditional sanctuary. It's a place of healing for humans and people alike. Jennifer reads part of the mission to me. Here the world will see how peace begins through respect, love, and kindness for all living beings. Here we will heal together. Heal by caring for animals in a beautiful open space that welcomes everyone, even for just a walk with the dog. What happened at Sandy Hook was so unthinkable for so many yeah. people. And as a mother who's who lost your daughter there, yeah. I mean, what a journey this has been. Is this healing for you? Yeah, totally. It's, it's humbling and it's healing um, and it's overwhelming and it's beautiful and it's all that just wrapped up in a <laughs> big old messy ball. Um, but the reality for, for me is that I'm not the only mother in the world who's ever lost their baby girl. And so for me, to be able to honor Catherine's memory in such a remarkable way and have her life impact you know, already ten, tens of thousands of people um, is hugely humbling and also healing. I mean, the alternative for me um, could have been to just crawl in a hole. She knew that's not what Catherine would have wanted, and she had to stay strong for her son, Freddie, who was only eight years old, and also a student at Sandy Hook Elementary who had lived through the worst day imaginable. I've been able to help Freddie maneuver this new normal of, of life without Catherine, um, and to know for him that the sanctuary is this beautiful place of serenity and, and healing for him as well. Mm -hmm. It's, again, it's, it's humbling. Do, do you love animals as much as she did? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But Jennifer loves her daughter, and it's that love that has seeded this beautiful space. 34 acres of pristine farmland donated by the state in 2014 to the Catherine Violet Hubbard Foundation. What are we looking at here? Okay, so this is, this is the pavilion. Um, we call it the pavilion sculpture. It is the uh, welcoming point for the sanctuary. This structure is the exact size uh, and location of where the pavilion will be built um, and be the gateway for, for everybody coming to the sanctuary. And then this uh, gets moved into the woods and becomes a secret garden that people can stumble upon. Since it's the gateway and it's symbolic of Catherine welcoming humans and animals alike, it is the only structure that will have red terracotta tiles as its roof, symbolic of her hair. More than 300 volunteers have come to help build garden beds, pull weeds, and even build this incredible wall. Here, they'll offer animal adoption, refuge for farm animals, wildlife rehab and release programs, and educational workshops. This is the vet intake. Um, that's where the animals will come. Um, and then this is the human side. Uh, Catherine's library is the silo. And then um, all of this is where we'll do our human uh, programming. One of the most unique programs they offer is called Senior Paws to help seniors stay with their pets in tough times. We go and cover their vet bill. Um, they don't have food, we cover their food. What's it feel like for you to be here? It's peaceful. It, this really is my place of um, where heaven and earth bump up. Jenny likes to walk along this stone wall and stop at the sun created out of stone. 
for me personally, it's, a, it's really a place that reminds me day after day after day that people are good and that there is more good in the world despite what we see and, and what we hear. There is more good and that it's okay to heal and move forward. There is something darkness and pain and suffering and grief and this is a testament to that. God bless those people. God bless. Donations have been coming in from all over the world, but they still need more help to build the sanctuary. That's right. And if you would like to donate to the Catherine Violet Hubbard Foundation, you can visit their website, which is cvhfoundation.org. Volunteers of all ages can also hold Catherine's Cups of Kindness events by hosting a lemonade or a hot cocoa stand and donating the proceeds. Sounds pretty good to me.